My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can convert a data table to a JSON string. And if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new exciting videos about UiPath. Let's get started. So we have an Excel sheet here and we want to import it to a data table and convert it to a JSON string. And be aware, it doesn't all make sense to convert a data table to a JSON, but I'm sure you have that um, under control. So uh, go to activities and find an Excel application scope. Drag this guy in, close down the Excel sheet, and there. Important here, I placed mine on the desktop called Docs. Open it. Now we can open it again if we want it. Then we want to have a read range from the Excel activities. So drag in the read range, and we will output it to a data table. So go over here and press Control K. We could call this DT date like this. And then we need to convert, uh, create a JSON convert variable. So go down to variables here, we can see our data table. And we'll create a variable called JSON convert. We'll need that as a support variable, so that's very important. In the variable type, click the drop down, browse for types. And then we will search for a JSON convert. Maybe I'm blind, but uh, yes, it's here under Newton's of JSON. Choose that one. Then click. Let me drag it in. Click OK. And now we created a variable of the type JSON convert, named JSON convert, very original. And then we can just have an in, uh, drag in an assign, find an assign, drag this in, and we'll create a new variable for our JSON string. So Control K, this one could be str of JSON or just JSON output or whatever you want to call it, create it and we can go down to variables and we created a str json with of, of the variable type string. Then we will just uh, type json convert, our json convert variable, then we want to not uh, deserialize it, we want to serialize it, so serialize object and then we have our data table, so uh, we can find it here, dt data, like that, and that's it. Now we can uh, just use a right line just to inspect our JSON uh, data. Drag this guy in. And we can just write out our JSON string from up here. And now we can run it. UiPath runs here, we can see it. And we'll wait a few seconds. And Wait a few more seconds. Now we read Excel and we have done it. Let's go to output and we can see our JSON string here. That's it. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. Have a good day. Bye bye.